everyone, today I will be doing Inktober number one, 2020, Fish in my sketchbook today. I know it's been a long time since October 1st, but I made this on October 1st or October 2nd, and I really wanted to post it, so I am doing that. So for fish, I didn't go like super anything extraordinary. I just drew a fish for the theme fish and I kind of gave it a Halloween vibe, not Halloween, just, well, yeah, Halloween and monstery, dragony vibe to it to make it more of, you know, October is like scary kind of month because of Halloween. And so I just wanted to give it that touch to it as well instead of a normal fish. The fish itself is a mix kind of between a koi fish, a regular fish, and my own imagination. So if you see parts of a koi fish, uh, here's why I actually used a koi fish for reference and some other fish as well. So this is why it kind of has the shape of a koi. So now I'm starting to fine line my drawing after doing this sketch. And there are spikes on its back to give it a monster vibe, as I said. And it has sharp teeth, which is normal for some fish though. I wanted to give it scary eyes, but I liked it better with these cute ones. The spikes were fun to do. I really like doing those triangles. There's a fin behind the spikes. I hope you recognize it. When I was coloring the fin behind the spikes, it really didn't show up, but I kind of boosted some contrast in it and on paper at least, it looked so much better. I added some bubbles to just give it more of a finishing touch. Since markers are allowed in Inktober, I of course used markers because I didn't have ink other than my pen and that would take forever and so I just used Markers, I didn't do anything too big. I just did something with these normal marker colors. Oh, I mean, not normal Inktober colors. And those are just variations of black and gray, variations of gray basically. But I did use a red on the back fan of the spikes to just add some contrast because it wasn't showing that well there was no contrast in it and for the fin on the back the tail fin I made it a very light color I boosted up the spikes a little and as you can see I added red to the back to give it some more contrast and I used a light Copic color to add some different color variation in this fish. Maybe as like an accent color and I colored the bubbles. I also added little bits of, of scale, not that much though. So this is how the finished result turned out. I hope you like this drawing and I really like competing in Inktober. And until next time, I would like to say bye.